Hi, this is Dr. Don. I want to go over the Monte Carlo simulation homework problem M7A2 a bit and to talk about some of the things I see that folks do wrong and that need to do um, in preparation for the final exam a bit. So I hope this helps. Let's start with this basic outsourcing decision model. It's a very simplistic model. It's a snapshot in time. We've got four variables and I like to color code things. Things that I input or variables are in blue. Things that are outputs or outcomes or results are in yellow. I've got my data up top. I've got a model that I've built here and then I've got assumptions for these variables. We've got fixed cost. It's at 50,000 and that's a fixed, I'm sorry, fixed variable down here. The unit variable cost, UVC, is 125, and that's also fixed in this simple model. The OUC, outsourced unit cost, 175, is fixed, and the demand for this snapshot is fixed. So those four variables are all fixed. The total manufacturing cost is equal to the fixed cost plus the unit variable cost times a demand. And I'm going to double click that and you can see that is the the fixed cost plus the unit variable cost times demand gives that total manufacturing cost. Similarly, the total purchase cost, which is the outsourced cost, is just the demand times the outsourced unit cost. The difference delta is just the difference between the manufacturing cost and the outsourced cost. So it would be logical that if delta is negative, <clears throat> that means that the outsourced cost, the purchase cost, is more than manufacturing, so it would be logical to manufacture. If the difference is positive, then that means the manufacturing cost is more than the outsourced cost and the decision would be to outsource. And that's what you can see here. I've got a decision there. If this is less than zero, we manufacture it. If it's greater than zero, we outsource. That's the basic model. 